This is it, ladies and gentlemen. No. Ho! No. Ho! No. No. In three, two, one. Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship, Triple One here, back on Forza Motorsport 7 with my good buddy, Fury Prophet. Fury, say something interesting. Yo, what's up? It's Prophet here, and I'm just here to say, unsubscribe from Eric Ship Triple One and subscribe to Fury Prophet 47 and make sure to hit the notification button because that's very important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we continue, Prophet, can I clarify? Did you say unsubscribe or subscribe to Eric Ship? <laughs> unsubscribe? Oh, my gosh. All righty. Got Xbox Guide button. Xbox Party. All righty. <laughs> Remove oh, no. and block. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right. No worries. So who was, who was that from? It's juicy. I changed it a bit because it originally says unsubscribe from Fury Profit and subscribe uh, to Eric Ship Triple One, but <laughs> there wouldn't be any point in subscribe unsubscribing from me because I only have 370 on subscribers. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. If you guys are watching, please help out Fury Profit. Make sure to check out his channel and most importantly, click the subscribe button as well. All right? Yeah, I'm getting demonetized on the 20th. Please help. <laughs> If you want Prophet to say something interesting in the beginning of a future Forza Motorsport 7 video, make sure to put it down in the comment section below. We will be reading them, and hopefully yours will be chosen in the future. All right, Prophet. We're continuing featuring the Bugatti Chiron here in Forza Motorsport 7, and today we're going to do a very special episode of Can It Beat a Formula 1 Car? featuring well the this new Bugatti now this is going to be a little bit different we're putting our Lamborghini Veneno rotation on hold we'll be putting a fully maxed out Bugatti Chiron against the Formula One car in a series of four challenges the first challenge will be a Daytona race followed by a three heat quarter mile battle then there'll be a standing one mile drag race and we'll finish everything off with a circuit race so I'm just going to quickly go through what the modification list consists of with this car. Now, there's only a drivetrain swap. Of course, I've kept it as all-wheel drive. I've put all the aerodynamics on because I know how horrendous the downforce is in the Chiron. <laughs> the tire oh, compound. you're listening to me, right? Yeah, of course. What, you think I'm not going to be listening to Fury Profit? You've got an extensive knowledge in modifying cars. So with fair the enough, tires, I've gone with racing tires with the widest width possible. I've kept the rim stock because I just like the way they look. Drivetrain, of course, they are all upgraded to racing modifications. Platform and handling, I've got race suspensions. I've got the most stiffest or anti-roll bars. And then I've got a roll cage as well. And also the maximum weight reduction. And with the engine... There's no modifications for the car, except for some restrictor plates for homologation purposes. But who cares about that, right? Yeah. And then with the tuning, I widened the gear ratios a little bit. I didn't tamper too much because I don't know that much about tuning a car around the circuit. I am very bad at that. So I've only mucked around with a couple of things, and that is the gearing, the alignment. So I increased the camber at the front and the rear as well and then i increased the toe going inwards at the front and the rear by negative 0.1 degrees and i believe everything else is fairly stock Very all right nice. we're here profit let's take a quick look at the statistics so my fully upgraded bugatti chiron is at class p 941 it's got 9.8 speed so it's not even at 10 yet but it's got 6.8 handling, 10 acceleration, and 6.7 braking. I think that's pretty standard for a fully maxed out car. That's usually where most of the other cars also stand as well. It don't usually tend to get much better than that. Like, the yeah. speed could go up a little bit, but apart from that, nah, there's not much difference. I just hope that this car will be a lot more sturdy around the Daytona Speedway. I certainly hope that is the case. 
It should be. Yeah. Providing, like, seeing the modifications you've done to it, it should be. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the car is still heavy. Just do a Sebastian Vettel to me. Why not? <laughs> oh, by the way, this is um three laps. Oh, no. Yeah, I messed that up. I forgot to change it to two. Oh, Profit. Way more sturdy, my man. I saw a lot of smoke, though, which was concerning. Yep. Uh, I will say, I am not going full throttle oh, around... there's less smoke in this corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will say, I'm not going full throttle. I'm going at about 80% around the corner. But hey, that's a lot better. That's a lot better than the stock Chiron. <laughs> it does look better, I will say. There we go. This is... Oh, this is feeling way better. Dude, should we be the official tuners for Bugatti? <laughs> yeah. I uh, mean... If you'd like to take some inspiration from our tunes, Bugatti, uh, feel free. <laughs> we'll release the tune to you at some point. Yeah, I mean... It may come at a price. I mean, yeah, we got to talk business, to be honest. Um, and this isn't even its final form yet. I mean, this is just a draft. The final copy is when Fury Prophet finishes off with everything else. Ah, uh, yeah. Exactly. So, Bugatti, if you guys are watching, <clears throat> this is the time to take uh, both Fury Prophet and Eric Ship on board into your engineering team. Yes. Ah, oh, why I think does it have to be three laps? <laughs> <laughs> Prophet, I'm so happy. We've built a Chiron that's not going to spin out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did it even hit a wall once going around there? No. It started the same as it finished. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. So we have made the car over a thousand pounds lighter. We haven't increased the engine output because there's just nothing to add to it. But we've added better tyres, better suspension, better everything, and more downforce. That is the key. Alrighty. It is 1-0 to the Bugatti Chiron. We now move on to the next battle, which is a three-heat quarter-mile drag race. Let's do this, Prophet. Now, I'm hoping the all-wheel drive is going to make a significant difference along with the race tyres. You better hope it does. I hope I hope it doesn't bog like it normally does if I just full throttle it. No, good. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was a terrible launch on my part. But profit, 8.2 seconds. That's that's pretty much as 8. quick 2. as the F1 car. It's been so long since we've been in these cars. Yeah, well, I know. The F1 right. car, particularly. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, much you better launch that time. Just not quick enough. 8.3. The Bugatti looking very good right now. Well, you basically won. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, we didn't increase the engine output. This is just all handling and modification stuff. Oh, oh, I think that you're going to beat me. Uh, yes. And the quarter mile feels so much shorter than I remember. <laughs> it's a lot faster when you're in fast cars. It feels like it's a split second and then it's over already. Yeah. All right. Profit, it is 2 0 to the Bugatti Chiron. We now move over to the standing one mile drag. I'm actually curious to see if I'll manage to catch up to you by the time you start to pull again. I have a feeling that you will pass me around the middle part and then that's when I come back. And hopefully, I'll take the win. 
Hopefully you'll take the win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it all depends. All right. Good launch. I think that was a bad launch on my part. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, you're catching up. All right, here comes the pull. And he's gone again. He's gone again. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, Prophet. You will not believe the time. Whew. Oh, damn. Yeah, it cracked 21 seconds. Only a few cars have uh, cracked 21 at the moment. And this is one of them. The legendary Chiron. <laughs> I'm beginning to, to like this car. To its name. What's a special name we can call this? This is the Bugatti Chiron. You know how there's the Huracan Performante? What should we call this one? Oh. Uh, Profit uh, Shippe? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, FP Triple One? The F. <laughs> yeah, the FP Triple One edition. That's what it is. So, it is 3 0 now to the Bugatti. We now move on to the last and final challenge, which will be a circuit battle. What we're going to be doing first is we're going to go through a qualifying session. We'll do a couple of laps and see the the best lap times we can pull off. And then the difference between the two best lap times, they'll be multiplied by the amount of laps we're actually going to do in our final race. And that will be the head start that the Bugatti Chiron will get. So we will see you guys very shortly. All right, Prophet, we are back. So your best lap time was a minute and 48 seconds <laughs> while well, mine was two minutes and 25 which yields a 37 second lap difference so that is 74 seconds 74 seconds that's the so head i will start. be waiting yep can you imagine if it was three laps profit oh my gosh you'd be it waiting an eternity <laughs> yeah. yeah it would be all right here we go remember 74 seconds, my man. Minute and 14. Yep. All right. So far, launch is good. Now, Prophet, I must say, this car handles like a dream right now. It really does. The braking is good. The handling, okay. the car feels so much lighter. Just taking a thousand pounds off from it. It's like a totally different car. That weight reduction, it must have taken all the diamonds out of the speakers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Must have taken the massive bags of cash inside the car that comes with it as well, eh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah, this car feels great. It's actually feeling a little bit agile for a big car, which is nice. Um, braking is good. Yeah. The way the car mm. turns, not much body roll. Very sturdy. I feel very conf confident going around corners fairly quickly. I honestly think... Oh, I didn't notice the time. Set off a little bit late. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry. It's only by a second. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, you get a second head start. An extra <laughs> second. Mate, I was keeping you intrigued with my new Bugatti Chiron. That's what I was doing. You just wanted uh, to well, hear... the tactic worked. <laughs> you just wanted Your to hear ass. all the good things about this new, new and improved Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, the weight reduction, the better tuning for the camber and all the tow. The circuit does not agree with F1 cars. <laughs> oh, un through the tunnel, this car does sound very nice, though. Mine sounds better. <laughs> well, of course, Prophet. Yours is a Formula One car. Mine will deafen you. <laughs> but I must say, the cornering of this car has just improved immensely. I think I might put this oh, tune. Oh god, across the dirt. 
Oh, JJ. I think I might actually put this tune up on the storefront, eh? If you guys... Yeah. If you guys want to try out this new and improved Bugatti Chiron Profit Ship 111 edition, I'll put it down on the storefront. And then uh, you guys can download it for yourself and uh, give it a go. And let me know what you guys think. It's nothing spectacular. I don't think you'd be able to use this around in a multiplayer hopper lobby. But, yeah, download it. Give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to improve upon it, feel free to do that as well. I truly believe, Prophet, that maxed out for maxed out, I think this car oh, crap. can probably take on the Koenigsegg one-to-one. -one. Maxed out? May yeah, yeah so maybe. I think Well, both like around a circuit? Around a circuit, around Daytona, quarter mile, one mile drag. I reckon he could take it. Oh, I've been choking pretty hard now. Oh, no. Hitting walls. <laughs> oh, but I see you. Do you? You're starting to come in on the map. Oh, no. There's not much not much left to go, Prophet. Oh, no. I see you. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so close. Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, your top speeds are starting to take over. It's oh, man. Holy crap. Uh, it was be me being kind and giving you that extra second. Oh my gosh, it turned out that extra second really, <laughs> you really needed it. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. The new and improved Bugatti Chiron, fully maxed out, has completely obliterated the Formula 1 car. Well, technically it, it didn't in the circuit race, but you know what we mean. That's how we do things anyway in our Can It Beat a Formula 1 series. Prophet, is there anything you want to say before we wrap up this episode? You're lucky. <laughs> you're very, you're a very lucky man. Eric. Oh, um, I agree. I am a bit lucky with um, the one second extra head start. Anyways, if you guys have made it till this far, make sure to click on Fury Profits channel to check out his version of the fully upgraded Bugatti Chiron against the Formula One car. We can assure you, you guys will not be disappointed. So make sure you guys click on that video. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. Also, a massive shout out to Fury Prophet for helping me out in this video. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below. So make sure you check him out. And also, if you want to check out this challenge from his point of view, hopefully I'll put it somewhere on the screen. So make sure you guys click on that. And lastly, if you guys would like to see more Forza Motorsport 7 content done by me, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.